Oh, man. So yeah, my office was kind of a mess. And that's actually because we are currently in the process of remodeling our house, looking to sell it and move to another state, somewhere a little bit warmer. And that's kind of uh, uh, the reason for this video. And I actually realized I haven't made a video in a couple of months, and that's for the same reason, just haven't had a lot of time or budget for any new gadgets or toys. But now I actually got a perfect excuse for one because I am moving my workspace into a much smaller area for the next few months while we are in a transition period between the old house and new house. So I'm gonna have way less room for everything and I'm just going with my laptop for the time being instead of my desktop and um, decided I needed uh, a smaller keyboard. Don't really need it but wanted it. Plus Father's Day is coming up. So I picked up this Razer Huntsman Mini over here, 60%. Optical gaming keyboard. I was actually looking at uh, Corsair K65 at first. It just came out recently, a couple months ago. It looks nice and I am a fan of Corsair products lately. And to be honest, Razer, I always like the brand. I think they're, they're really good, but they've been kind of a hit or miss for me. And um, I'm very happy with my Razer laptop, but the last two or three Razer products that I bought, including another laptop, including a keyboard and a mouse, and you, you can see them all uh, on my channel, all of those ended up going back to the point of sale. So they were in one way or the other disappointing. So I'm a little bit worried about uh, this keyboard here. I hope it's gonna be good. I was deciding between this and a Corsair and Best Buy has a sale currently still going that uh, makes this keyboard a $90 offering instead of $120. And the Corsair is $110. So it's a little bit cheaper, plus some uh, rev uh, reviews that I watched on YouTube kind of showed that the uh, Corsair has a little bit of a cheaper build quality and some other silly things. And it still looks really nice, but I ended up uh, deciding to try Razer. And it's a nice packaging. I like that, that's kind of changing colors there, whatever it's called. Uh, plus it should go well with my Razer laptop, so. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look inside. Anything of uh, interest here? Razer optical switches, double shot PBT keycaps, detachable uh, USB type C cable. So I'm actually not a huge mechanical keyboard reviewer or, any, or not or anything like that. I know there's all the different switches, they're lubing, they're modding, there's all kinds of stuff, there's a whole community dedicated to mechanical keyboards and um, like 60% keyboards too. But I'm actually gonna just look at this keyboard from the point of view of someone who's used to full-size keyboards. And this is my first mini keyboard, really. I mean, I had compact Bluetooth keyboards, things like that, but the actual mechanical gaming keyboard in the smaller form factor, this is gonna be the first one for me. So that's how I'm gonna unbox it. So right there is the keyboard. Pretty basic packaging here. Let's see, there's some kind of paperwork here. Nice, the usual Razer note. Thank you for choosing Razer. You see this with almost every Razer product and manual, not just the manual, ah, stickers. You also see this with almost every Razer product. Okay. So that's the uh, USB Type-C cable. Okay, pretty nice. Braided cable. I'm assuming it's gonna be Type A on the other end, yes. And it's also typical green Type A USB cable from Razer, cool. Leave it there for a minute. 
And here's the keyboard itself. Cool, all right, so my very first impression, just picking up from the box, is actually smaller than I even expected. I thought, I don't know why, but for some reason I expected it to be just a little bit taller. And this is much slimmer than I thought it would be. And that's, that's fine, I want this portability. I can tell already there are some interesting design features here that just makes it uh, kind of stand out a little bit. So this is nice for gamers, by gamers, just printed all over here. Um, standoffs, this is something that a Corsair K65 doesn't have and I think that's going to be a nice feature to have. Okay, And then pretty simple, there's a Razer branding right there. And not much going on around here. Now, the material, I forget, do they say that if the top of it is metal or aluminum of some sort? It feels like it's cool to the touch, so it feels like aluminum. The sides and the bottom is definitely all plastic. Now, to be perfectly honest, I don't have a preferred mechanical switch. I know there are so many different types. What does this one come with? So this is Razer's own design. It says clicky, optical switch. Light and clicky. All right, let's click it. Hmm. Yeah, it does feel snappy. There are a couple of different types that is currently on sale at Best Buy. There's one with a different switch, I forget the name of it, but um, I think it's... Um, no, I forget, whatever. It's supposed to be quieter. But this was the one that was on sale. And honestly, I actually don't think I will mind. Now, if you get a chance to see my previous Razer keyboard unboxing on this channel, it was a full-size keyboard that I got, I think, around December. Um, I ended up returning it because it was too loud especially this space bar when you type it was just making so much like echoing metal sound just couldn't really stand typing on it now this one you can hear a little bit of uh, echo there but it's not nearly as bad so yeah it almost feels like that's probably a Razer thing. Like Corsair doesn't do that. But again, if you get a chance to watch that previous video, you'll see just a huge difference in how loud that space bar is. And that was literally the only reason why I ended up returning the keyboard. I was just, I type a lot for work all day long and um, I decided I just can't stand that. But this, should be okay. All right, so what's next? I realized that some of the regular keyboard functions are kind of moved to as the secondary, as a secondary uh, function to other keys, like the arrow keys, for example, there, or all this, you know, print screen, page up, home, page down, all those keys over here. It's gonna be interesting to see. I don't actually use those a whole lot, so probably not a problem. Also, the function keys on this side. So I'm, I guess the idea is you type and well, you, you hold, hit the function key with your pinky and one of those keys. Doesn't feel too intuitive, but probably just something to get used to. Uh, I think I would prefer the function key to be on this side so you could sort of hit it and then engage the, the key that you need. But I'm sure it can actually be remapped if that's a problem in the software, so probably not a big deal. Either gonna have to get used to it, or if getting used to it is too much, then just remap it. Now the USB-C connection is a little bit off-side, or off-center rather, shift it to the side here, but it's also recessed inside the keyboard, I like that. Yeah, and look here, there's like a little guide here, and like a tiny little rail over there, so the cable goes in there, 
slides right in very smoothly and just kind of flush with the keyboard. That's very nice. The Corsair doesn't have that and it's just a slide over here and you just stick the cable and it's sticking out right there in the middle of the keyboard. So just the small things are some of the reasons why I've chosen the Razer versus a Corsair. And I apologize to anyone who's a fan of any other brand out there. I just, I just don't know them all that well. And these are the ones that were available today at Best Buy. Let's, let's plug it in and take a look. So it comes to life right away. And it shifts through the um, or the cycle still different colors. Okay, the Razer software comes right up. I don't know if it wants an update. Looks like it wants an update. Probably getting whatever drivers it needs for the keyboard. Hmm. Or maybe it's not the keyboard. Did Microsoft change the um, behavior of Windows key? Or is it just me? No. It was definitely my computer. Okay, well, the keyboard works. And it was still installing drivers, that's probably why. While we're waiting on that, as a side note, I'm actually recording this video on uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 20, the base model. It's a green one I unboxed uh, back in August, I think, of last year. And uh, that was the one that I gave to my mom. But my last video on this channel was about uh, a Galaxy S21 Plus that I won in a contest. And I ended up just giving that to my mom and I took her note back so I can use it to record some videos with. And I don't have to use my main phone, I just use it for other things. There's one thing that I always found a little bit annoying about Razer. There are too many updates for its software. I mean, it needs to update something almost every other day. Feels like, I mean, I know it's not really that often, but compared to, I don't know, say we'll just talk about Corsair again, and uh, IQ software. It gets an update once in a while, but like once every few months. The uh, Razer setups here gets some sort of update probably weekly and every time it does it just always takes a few minutes and you have to sit here and wait all right so it has identified the keyboard yeah also uh, probably uh, I didn't keep count but we'll say reason number four why I decided on Razer keyboard is because I'm using it with the Razer laptop and it already has a software it needs I don't need to install another piece of software to take up resources and uh, you know make the fan spin when it doesn't need to. So let's go take a look at the uh, settings here. It's not a whole lot. You have option to customize. So basically that's your remapping here. I'm guessing. No, the Windows key cannot be remapped. But yeah, other, other scan. And you can, uh, looks like save to onboard profiles so that's nice you don't even have to have the software or rather you, you don't even have to use it with the same computer to have those settings saved all right so and for the lightning effects the brightness wise this is the this is on highest brightness it's just a little bit dimmer in here it's not super bright but definitely bright enough I like it. It's actually pretty understated, and um, that's what I like. And as far as colors, your spectrum cycling, we'll just try something else. Let's try the reactive option. Hopefully, you can see it. Wait, okay, did that work? I already accidentally switched to something else. Reactive. Let's um, 
make it red. So I like my, let's see. Very cool. That's how I have my desktop set up, I like it. Now I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit, uh, probably go to advanced and uh, see if I can layer those effects so I can have just the white backlight and maybe uh, red reactive setting for the individual keys. So that's basically that. Um, there's not a whole lot else that I can think of to mention about this. So far I like it. I'm gonna give it a shot a few days. I think this might be might be a good choice. Um, it's weird, like I see on the video, the keys look kind of purplish, but they're actually white. And it's, a, it's an interesting effect because the keys look white and um, the backlight underneath the keys, or you know, the one you have between the keys, does look kind of bluish, almost like an, some kind of ice blue. A little bit harder to tell in the video because for some reason the keys appear pink or purple, but they're actually pretty nice white in real life. Yeah, it's so I'm still kind of trying to hit the like, other keys with my right hand here. They're just not here anymore. I take a little getting used to, but the space saving is definitely going to be worth it. And it's probably gonna set up something like that. Also, I'm gonna make a nice travel keyboard. If that's something that I'll decide I need someday. As always, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, please feel free to share in the comments down there and um, I'll be sure to reply whenever I get a chance. The time is kind of limited right now, so I'll do my best, but um, please share. Thanks.